So as you've probably heard by now, Critical made a recent post that showed that the IEF neutral target for his database on critical.com has been updated. The target that we've known for quite a while was IEF neutral that looked like a linear flat line all the way up to almost 1000 Hertz. And then the region that some refer to as ear gain was just a simple smoothed out rise and fall. This was a very simple target that was meant to be just a simple basic neutral. And then the base region perfectly flat so that you can adjust the base to your own preference. This had become a popular target, especially since it was the default target for Critical's database, which is one of the largest public databases that you can use. So why would it be updated now? Before I go into this, I just want to say I had no involvement in this, and I also didn't talk with Critical about this. This is just my own observation from a third party perspective, although I did talk with some friends who did work on the development of this new target. So the old target is familiar to most people. We have a simple flat line and then a somewhat smoothed out ear gain and trouble region as some call it. Now with the new target, IEF 2023, we see a bit of a difference here. We have a little bit more bass that slowly transitions down to 1000 Hertz. And then the ear gain region is a little bit of a sharper slope and peaks just a slight bit higher. Comparing with the old target, we can see it's not too much different. Overall, it does still hit a lot of similar points. So it shouldn't change things too much. But what was the reason that this was done? Well, first of all, we have to remember that a lot in the industry are moving towards a new measurement system, which is the, which is the BNK5128. Critical is also someone who recently acquired a 5128, or at least the ear simulator, the 4620. Now with much of the industry moving towards this system, and Critical as well, moving forward with a lot of his new measurements being on the 5128, some feel that it might be good to have something that's somewhat more cross-compatible between the new systems and the old systems. Now in developing a target with the 5128, in my previous videos, I talked about how there's still some discussion about what is the best target to use for the new 5128 system. And many have felt that the best target to use for the 5128 is diffuse fields, since it's a target that you can recreate quite consistently. Now, just a straight diffuse field target doesn't really sound that good to most people. It, seem, it usually sounds a bit too bright. So what many are doing is tilting diffuse field and applying a lot of harm and research towards the diffuse field target to create a target that should be much more preferable to most people. Now, in coming back to how this applies to the old target, this diffuse field target with an 8 dB per octave downslope seems to be what many are sort of settling on as an overall good target for IEMs and headphones. But how can we but how can we apply this to the other target? Well, that's what some in the community have been trying to work on. Now, someone very active in the community goes by the name of Listener. And something that they had been working on was taking the diffuse field HRTF of the 5128 and EQing many IEMs that had been measured on the 5128 to the 5128 diffuse field target. So for example, here we have the sound note zero. And if we EQ it to a 5128 curve, it ends up looking like this. And then we can take those EQ filters and apply them to measurements that were taken with the 711. And then the results end up looking something a lot more like this. Whereas this green line is the measurement of the sound note zero with the 711. And then the red line is the sound note zero with the EQ applied from the 5128 measurement. This process was repeated over and over again with many different IEMs until there was a large number of measurements of different IEMs that were EQ'd to the 5128 HRTF. Now you would assume that they would all end up the same, but since they have different acoustic impedance, then the measurements do end up varying quite a bit. But once all the data was collected, it was then averaged to produce a final target. This average target then had the different tilts applied to it. So jumping over here to listener squig link, they did a lot of work of testing different amounts of tilt and also comparing between the 5128 EQs. Now many have agreed that an 8dB down tilt seems to be a safe middle ground. So from that, in theory, there's a basis for a target that applies some of the data from the 5128 towards the 711. Now when converting this to the new IEF neutral target, there were still some changes made towards the new target from this one. The main changes from listener's target to the new IEF target is the 400Hz bump here is flattened out, and then the upper range here around 3k is also smoothed out a little bit which brings it a bit closer to the old IEF neutral target. Also, if you're just wondering how come the upper range here seems a bit higher on this graph compared to the other one, it's just a difference in the dB scale here. If we go back to mine, which is set more like Critical's, you can see that it's not quite as drastic as it might look. So yeah, that's my observation and what I gather about the new IEF neutral target. I'm curious to see where things go from here and to see how things might be applied going forward. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. And maybe next time I'll be fully moved into my new office space.